Hey there, John from My Solar Home. This latest video will be comparing the new Enphase 5P with the Tesla Powerwall Plus, with the Franklin battery, and with the Solar Edge battery. So I'll be comparing these four batteries on size. When I say size, I'll be comparing the size of the batteries and their controllers. Then I'm going to compare the energy capacities of these batteries. And to make this an apples to apples comparison, I'm going to make all of them the same size in terms of energy capacity. Warranty, then we look at their ability to connect to a generator. We look at their ability to avoid a main panel upgrade. We look at the ability to black start or sunshine startle. We'll compare the mobile apps that these battery providers give you. Finally, the ability the ability to shed loads. So let's look at size. The Enphase 5P, here you'll have to buy two of these batteries. Each of these batteries is sized at 39 inches in a 22 inches into eight inches. 39 inches tall, 22 inches wide, and eight inches thick. So nice, thin, slim form factor. You'll have two of them. And the controller is 26 inches into 20 inches into 10 inch. Next, we have the Tesla Powerwall. This is clearly the smallest among all these batteries. The controller and the battery of the Tesla are beautifully designed so that they, they stack up one on the other and the whole unit looks like a single unit. And that single unit is sized at 63 inches tall into 30 inches wide into seven inches thick. So it's the thinnest of the lot. The Franklin battery, the battery is 45 inches tall into 30 inches wide into 12 inches thick. The controller, 32 inches tall in a 22 inches wide in a seven inches thick. The solar edge battery is 47 inches tall into 32 inches wide into 10 inches in thickness. Its controller, which is basically the solar edge energy hub inverter, 18 inches tall into 15 inches wide into seven inches. So overall, if you look at the sizes of all these batteries, the smallest is clearly the Tesla Plus. Number two is the solar edge battery. Number three is the N-Phase 5P battery. And at number four, we have the Franklin battery. Next, let's look at energy capacity. I talked about it earlier. The Enphase 5P battery starts at a small size of 5 kilowatt hours and you can keep adding units of 5 going up to 5, 10 and it can you can go up to 80 kilowatt hours. Pretty flexible and one of the great things about the Enphase 5P battery is that you can start with a starter size of 5 kilowatt hours. A 5 kilowatt hour battery has got enough juice to run your kitchen, your internet, your Xbox, your kids will be happy, your fridge will be running. There's enough energy in one 5 kilowatt hour battery to run the essentials of your home for the night. Next morning, the, the panels can charge their battery. You don't want to spend a lot of money on your battery. 5KWH battery is a great size to start with. None of the other batteries have that option. End phase goes from 5 kilowatt hours to 80 kilowatt hours. You want to buy more batteries more than well. Tesla starts out at 13.5 kilowatt hours and it can go up to, again, 80 kilowatt hours. Franklin batteries start at 13.6 kilowatt hours and they can go up to a whopping 204 kilowatt hours. So Franklin has got the maximum ability to expand. Though it's unlikely that you're going to need that much of energy. Uh, for your information, the size which most folks buy when they buy a battery is in the 10 to 13 kilowatt hour range, which I am comparing today in, in this video. Some folks will buy 20 or 25 and at the max, you might end up with 40. It is very rare that you buy more than 40 or 50 kilowatt hours of battery, primarily because it's very expensive. The solar edge battery starts with a basic size of 10 kilowatt hours and it goes up to about 30 kilowatt hours. So even though it doesn't have that much of expandability, like I said, it really doesn't matter. The sweet spot is really between five to 40. Talk about the energy capacity of a battery. It's like saying how large of a gas tank do these batteries have? The larger the energy capacity, the more in the gas tank. But in terms of what you can use these batteries for, can you use these batteries batteries to run an AC, can you use it to run a well pump? You can only do that if these batteries have adequate power. That means you are able to draw large amounts of current from this battery and get these larger devices started. So power is what you're going to be looking at. There are two ways you look at power. One is peak power. That means for a little while you need a large surge of current to get some of your bigger devices like your AC or your well pump to start running. Once the devices start, then the load goes down, you need less current to run them. So the amount of current that you need to run your devices on a continuous basis is known as continuous power. So if you look at the continuous power for these four batteries, the Enphase 5P has a continuous power of 7.68 kW, which is the most among all of them. 
Next, we have the Tesla Plus, the Tesla Powerwall Plus, which has got a continuous power capacity of 7kW. The Franklin battery has a continuous power capacity of 5kW and the Solar Edge battery has a continuous power capacity of 5kW. Continuous power capacity of 5kW is more than adequate to run most houses, so having more continuous power is great, but it's not like a game changer. What is very important is how much peak power these batteries can generate. Your end phase is an enormous 15.36 peak power output. The Tesla Powerwall has got 10kW of peak power output. The Franklin battery also has 10kW of peak power output. And the Solar Edge has got 7.5kW of peak power output. So in terms of peak power, end phase rules. And this is important because now with the end phase 5P, even with a small battery, you could start very large loads which some of the other batteries may not be able to do. With a peak power capacity of 10kW or more, you're pretty much able to run most household appliances like your air conditioner, dryer, well pump, etc. Because Enphase has got 15.36kW of peak power capacity, you could potentially start two of these devices simultaneously with your Enphase battery. None of the other batteries will give you the capability to start two of these big loads together. With Enphase, you can do it and it also has the continuous power to actually run them for a while. Let's look at warranty next. The Enphase 5P battery will come with a 15-year warranty standard, which is the best today in the market. The next best in the market comes from Franklin. Franklin has a 12-year warranty and both SolarEdge and Tesla have 10-year warranty. Enphase and Franklin are the two batteries which run on lithium ferrous phosphate technology. This is the newer, safer battery technology. Tesla and the Solar Edge are lithium NMC batteries, nickel manganese cobalt batteries. The lithium ferrous phosphate battery technology is clearly the superior technology in terms of safety. If you have a battery installed in a garage, there is a chance that sometime you could ram your car into the battery. With a lithium ferrous phosphate battery, there is no danger of fire. Now, if you crash into a Tesla battery, nothing is likely to happen, but there is a small chance that the battery might catch fire because of the lithium NMC technology that they have, which is not there for the Franklin and the Enphase 5P battery. In terms of generator support, again, both the Franklin and Enphase 5P will give you generator support. This is really good because generator support is actually pretty important. Having a small portable generator in your home gives you the ability to recharge your battery in case you run into bad weather. You have outages, there's storms going on, the sun's not shining, your solar panels are not making energy, nothing to charge your battery, your battery's dead. At that point of time, having a small portable generator, run it for an hour, charge your battery, and boom, you're back in business. So both Franklin and Enphase 5P have that capability. Next, the ability to avoid an expensive main panel upgrade. Usually when you're buying a battery, you're buying solar plus a battery. Now this means you are generating a fair amount of current in your home. In some cases, this requires your main panel to be upgraded. A 100 amp main panel might require it to be upgraded to a 200 amp main panel. It's expensive. With Enphase 5P and the Franklin battery, you have a chance of avoiding the main panel upgrade because of the way these guys are engineered. So that's a good plus one. Neither SolarEdge nor Tesla have that advantage. All these four battery manufacturers will give you pretty good monitoring apps. The Enphase app is better than the other apps purely because the Enphase gives you completely granular view into both your solar panels as well as the battery. It'll show you how much each panel solar panel is making, how much they made over the last few days, how your battery is doing, how much energy your home is consuming. The other apps, including the Tesla and the Franklin, are not able to give you panel level outputs from your solar PV. They'll tell you how much energy your battery is generating, how long to charge it, how much energy it has, very comprehensive on the battery side, not so comprehensive on the solar panel side. The only other app which comes close to the Enphase app is the SolarEdge app because they also have pretty granular reporting. One of the advantages of having an app is you can actually select which of your devices you want to shut off and not drain your battery with. Don't run the AC and don't run the well pump when the battery is 40% charged or below. You can automatically, with the click of a button, you can shut those loads off. This is known as load shedding. Both Franklin and Enphase have the ability to shed loads. Finally, let's look at the, the ability to black start or sunshine start. During an outage, it is very possible that you run your battery down to absolutely zero. You go to sleep at night and in the morning when you wake up, your battery is completely dead. Now, in case of both Franklin and the Enphase 5P, you're in luck. 
because once the sun rises and the solar panels start to produce energy, that energy will actually charge the battery and restart your battery again. This is known as a black start or a sunshine start. Neither Solar Edge or Tesla have this capability. If those batteries get drained down to zero, you will actually have to reset, restart the battery, and this usually involves calling a technician over. These four batteries are like the big four antennas today. They are all really very good. But if you've got to rank them, one, two, three, and four, my choice would be number one for the Enphase 5P, number two for the Franklin, number three for the Tesla Powerwall Plus, and number four for the Solar Edge. But remember, there is very little difference between one and four. These are all outstanding batteries. You won't go wrong if you buy any one of these batteries. Look for the best deals. Go for whichever battery you get at the best deal. I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a great day.